Hello and welcome to a new series on my channel, Daedalus Plays Don't Starve. So uh, let's uh, get right into playing this game. I cannot change my character, but I can change some world settings. Uh, so let's see. Um, I don't really know what this does. But I guess I'll leave it like that. And now we'll change this one and this one. Uh, long summer sounds good. So less lightning. Um, more skeletons. Less rain. Skeletons are good. You get uh, loot from them. What else have we got? Uh, animals and monsters. I think that's alright. Um, actually, I want to have less hounds. Less tree guards. Yeah, I think this is all okay. So let's start the game now. So here we are. This is the game. And that's my character Wilson. And let's get these seeds real quick. Because I can eat those. I can also eat these berries. Of course the game is called Don't Starve, but food isn't really my main problem. But here you can see the time is ticking. But when it gets night time it will be dark and I need light. So I could build a torch, but really a campfire would be better. For that though I will need logs. And to get logs I need an axe. But for an axe I need to find flint. Um, luckily there's some flint right here. So Don't Starve is mainly a survival game. And I can uh, do that just barely survive. But that uh, wouldn't really be ideal. I can make an axe now. And I've got enough items for a pickaxe as well. So I guess you could say the real main goal of the game is to survive and thrive. Anyway, for now, it's mainly just gathering resources. As well as exploring the map. Uh, later on, in a few minutes, when it gets night time, it will eventually get totally dark. And if I don't have a light source, which I can build right now with uh, the stuff I gathered. If I don't have a light source, then a mysterious enemy will come and kill me and there's no defense against that nothing I can do except of course uh, keep the fire burning oh there's some rabbits here uh, rabbits are a source of food but I can't just catch them I will need to make a trap so I could build one now and if I place that trap right about here then if I come back in a little while, hopefully, I will find a rabbit in the trap. Anyway, as I was saying, I can build that campfire now, or when it's night time. But um, when I have explored a bit more of the map, and I know where I can find some good resources, where some food and uh, some other stuff, then I can build a more permanent base with a better campfire as well, a fire pit. So it's important to explore the world a bit and uh, then when I know where I can find stuff I can choose the perfect location for my camp. So I've uh, got enough items at least to survive the first night but it's always uh, a good idea to keep on just gathering materials and food see now this rabbit here has no rabbit hole to run to but no matter what I do I just cannot attack it so I wouldn't bother with that and that's why I set that trap earlier. Must have been around here somewhere. 
Uh, yeah, it's just to the south there. So I can have a look, uh, see if maybe Rabbit has gone into the trap. Oh, and it is starting to get night. Actually, it won't be night just yet for a few more minutes. Uh, so I can still walk around, gather some more stuff. But I do think that now all rabbits have gone into hiding in their holes. And I think bees maybe have gone to sleep already as well. And butterflies too, I think. Anyway, they will wake up again in the daytime, so they're not gone forever. Which actually brings me to another important aspect of the game. If I should die, then I will not respawn. So it's just like uh, Minecraft Hardcore mode. If you die, the world gets deleted and you lose all your progress. So that actually is something that kept me from playing this game for a long time. Because I don't really like that in games. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, these creatures are called hounds. And that is a trap. Um, they appear to be sleeping, but if I would try and go in and get that uh, fire staff that's there. They will wake up and they will kill me. And as I just said, that will be game over. And because this game also doesn't work with world seeds, then there would be no way at all to ever get this exact same world again. Of course I only just started playing, so it wouldn't be a great loss, but if I would be playing for a few more days, a bit longer, then I would really lose a lot of progress. And, uh, and that's what I don't like about hardcore games. It's a gobbler, and I, that was quite a lucky shot actually. Um, because it's not that easy to kill goblers normally, but it just ran right into my axe. And so I've got a little bit of gobbler meat now to eat. Anyway, as it turns out, there are ways to respawn after death. And uh, one of those ways is what I'm looking for right now. Well, in the daytime. That's called a touchstone. A touchstone is a sort of altar. And I can activate it if I find one. And then um, when I die, the game will respawn me at the nearest activated touchstone. Of course, that will deactivate the touchstone permanently. So that is why when I started this game, I changed some world settings to include a little bit more touchstones in this world. So if I do find them in the next day or any of the coming days, then I guess that would count as extra lives. And that makes the game a bit more enjoyable, for me anyway, to play. I know other people like the challenge of the hardcore mode. There are some more ways to respawn, but they are a bit too advanced for me right now. But most likely later on in the game, I will explore these options as well. So let's see, it's nearly daytime again. And I'm just looking what direction I can go in to do some more exploring. But I guess it doesn't really matter, so... I'll just keep on going this way. There are several different biomes in this game, in the world. And uh, some biomes have some very good stuff to offer. So I will keep on exploring. The world is not infinite, by the way, uh, like Minecraft worlds are. Uh, so there is a certain end to it. 
And here you see some ants because I cannot leave this island, go into that sea. But I did change the default world size for this uh, save game. So this world is a bit larger than the default worlds would be. That gives us uh, just a little bit more to explore. Which is one aspect I do like about survival games. Oh, there goes my axe, but luckily I can craft a new one. So I would like to find a bit more rocks as well, because there are certain rocks which give me gold nuggets. Oh, what's this here? Um, box thing. I'm not really sure what this is. I know these evil flowers are bad, so I would really leave those alone. But that uh, thing in the middle, I think, is used for another part of the game. Right now I'm just playing survival. But um, I don't really know much about it, but as far as I know there is a game mode which is more story driven. And I cannot access that just yet. I need to find something in the game, in the world. Which will give me access to that. It's a little bit mysterious. And like I said, I don't really know much about it. But I think if I do find it, maybe after a while, it'll be fun to have a look at that, see what it is. So anyway, as I was saying, I need gold nuggets to craft an item which allows me to craft more advanced items. And that includes armor and even walls. So if I do build a more permanent base, then I can sort of fortify it with walls. Of course, I also need just the stone for the walls. So that's uh, the one thing I'm looking for. Of course, there are a lot of other things I am looking for. Like with those hounds we saw earlier, I'm right now just not prepared at all to fight them if they would wake up. So I need armor and I need uh, some, some weapons. And uh, I'm just gathering everything I can find just to build up my infantry a bit. And then eventually, hopefully, I have enough items to craft uh, such items. I walked quite a bit, but still only really in a straight line, so I haven't explored much. And it's uh, dusk again, so it's uh, starting to get night time in a few minutes. By the way, I think for these videos, I will play for three days uh, per video. One day night cycle is about eight minutes. So three days, that will be 24 minutes. Of course, it'll be a bit longer because the game pauses when I look at the map, but I think that's a good length for these videos. So for this first episode, we're about halfway done. Again, it'll be a few more minutes until it's really night time and uh, the spiders come out. <laughs> Actually, there's a spider den right here. And uh, just like with the hounds, I'm not prepared to fight them. So I hope they don't catch me. I can outrun them. Yeah, it looks like I can. I could probably fight one of those spiders if it's after me. But I'm not really bothered with it right now. Eventually though, I will probably want to attack them because if I destroy one of those spider dens, then I think I will get an item called silk. And that's used in a couple of crafting recipes. 
which are quite useful. But uh, I won't do that until I'm more prepared, until I have uh, another camp set up. Speaking of which, let's uh, look where we are here. Not explored a lot, but uh, I've got a few more days. And I think I'll set up my camp for tonight here. And I'm starting to get a bit hungry actually, it looks like. So let's see what I've got. I've got a lot of food actually. By the way, if you notice those food items down here, um, some of them have a green background. Well, they all have a green background when I just uh, get them in my infantry. But over time, you see it drops a bit, the color changes to yellow and I think later to red. And that indicates the freshness of the food. Uh, I'm doing much better now. So when it's green, the food is very fresh. And when it's yellow, I can still eat it, but uh, not as fresh anymore. And eventually, the food item will turn into rot, as it's called. And I can't eat rot anymore. I do think, though, I can use it as fertilizer. Uh, which I will need later on if I start building farms. But I'm not building farms yet. I will do that once I find a location for a permanent camp. And I haven't found that yet, so I'm not building farms yet. Also, I need a special ingredient for it, which I haven't yet found. Hopefully I will find it soon though, because it is a very, very good thing to have. Well, it's uh, nearly daytime again. So I can continue exploring now. And I think I saw a desert biome on the other side of this uh, bit of ocean here, just to my left. So I'm just going to have a look now if I can get there easily. Because deserts are usually a place where you can find rocks. Which, as I just said, I really want to find. Yeah, it does look like there's some deserts to the left here. And should just be down here somewhere. Yeah, it looks like there's a connection. Ah, here we are. Oh! Well, there are uh, beefalo here. And they are friendly creatures. Well, for now, anyway. But beefalo are mainly very good because they drop a beefalo poop. And uh, beefalo poop is a very nice item because it's a good fertilizer. And it's also a crafting ingredient for the farm I was just talking about. So here's a rock. That's nitre. It dropped. I'm not really sure what it's used for. But I know it's not something I need right away, so. I think I need it for something like gunpowder or. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. I do know, however, that I don't need it right now, so. I'll take it, even though it's uh, completely filled up my infantry now. And that actually does mean that I would really need to find a more permanent location for a camp. Because then I can craft uh, chests 
in which I can store some of these items I don't need. Well, I do need them, just don't need them right now. So just on the other side there is where I stayed the night. And this is what I saw. And there is another spider den. Or two. But it doesn't look like it has the rocks I was hoping for it would have. No, just a few rabbits. And some tufts of grass. Actually, I don't think it is a desert biome. I think it's more a savanna. I know deserts have uh, the ground looked more like cracked dirt, like really dried up dirt. And this doesn't look like that, so <laughs> I think this is not a desert. No, it doesn't look like there's anything to use for here, so let's just go back up where the beefaloes are. And uh, I do like that I found those beefaloes there. As I said, they uh, generate poop, which is a very useful ingredient in making better food. So they're up there. There's also more rocks up there, so... I think that's where I'm going to now. Of course it is starting to get night again. So hopefully I'll make it up there just in time. Otherwise I'll have to uh, spend the night with the beefalo, which isn't too bad. As long as they're not in mating season. As I said, the beefalo are a neutral mob. And that means that they are not aggressive towards the player. Um, but they will be from time to time when they are in mating season. And uh, during mating season is when new beefalo are born as well. So uh, they're a renewable source of uh, meat if I should uh, have to kill them. For now I have enough food to last me a while, so I don't have to kill any beefalo yet. And I did make it to these rocks. Oh, I can make something new. It just pinged. The fire pit. So I would make a fire pit uh, instead of just a campfire where I would build my permanent base. If I find a good location for it. Of course these rocks are not renewable, so I'm breaking these down just because I need the stone and hoping they drop some gold nuggets and I need the gold. But uh, eventually, then uh, all the rocks here will be gone. Um, but if I really can't find any uh, rocks, then there is something else in the game. And I think it's relatively new. It's uh, caves. I should eventually find some cave entrances which uh, will allow me to go to basically a whole new world uh, underground uh, which is all made of caves and there are I think there are a lot of uh, things that drop stone as well of course there are a lot more scary monsters in the caves as well and once I do find an entrance and go into the caves then those monsters will also find their way back out of the caves into the overworlds here. So I'm not really looking forward to that quite yet. 
But if I really must go into caves to find stone, I suppose eventually I will have to. I'm just looking at the map right now to see which direction I would want to explore next time in uh, day four because uh, it is starting to get time that I will set up a more permanent base with the fire pit. So I think I will need to uh, explore a bit more for that. Anyway, it's uh, starting to get near the end of the night here on day three and that means that this is the end of the first episode of the new series, Dayless Plays Don't Starve. I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please do like, subscribe and share the video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.